Hey there, hope you're having a great day. I'm Summer with HammondsNest.com and I'm happy to show you this beautiful, uh, it's gonna be end up being that we're making some embellishments for a really pretty faux flower arrangement. So I hope you'll hold on to the end and see how beautiful it comes out. Here I'm making just a small layered bow with some coordinating fall colors. I've got a couple two and a half inch ribbons and some other decorative ribbons and some burlap that I cut. And I just cut these into nine inch strips. I dovetailed the ends and angled them and now I'm just taking the pieces and kind of going back and forth in my hand with the different pieces. I did choose to use the white burlap kind of in an X, and then I laid the other ones back on top of it. Adding in a little bit of this American moss, also called Excelsior, uh, in the bow just for a really kind of country fall look. And now I'm tying it off with a little jute rope, and we'll set that to the side, and we will need it in a minute. Next, I have this cute little wooden tag. I picked up a pack of these at Hobby Lobby. They've been really great. I've used them on a few different projects. And I'm just doing a little dry brushing on both sides with the color Sheepskin by Folk Art. It's a chalk, the chalk paint line they have. And once that dries, I'll put on a second coat just to give it a little bit more of a white look. And I'm going to end up using rubber stamps and black ink on these to do a couple of custom sayings. These are my wood stamps here. I'm playing with the uppercase and lowercase, and I'm going to do on the first one, I'm going to do gather here, which I thought would be really pretty because you'll see at the end that what we're making would make a great door decor piece and be very welcoming. And then the other side, um, we'll say autumn blessings here, and you could use this indoors too, either one really, but I just like the variety of being able to change it up if I'm just feeling, out, feeling like that. And I'm taking that our ink pad and I'm just kind of ink distressing is what I call that along the edges. We'll also put that to the side. And then I found these beautiful acorn bells at Hobby Lobby. They came in a six pack. I ended up just tying, kind of making my own little garland and tying them on jute string. And now I'm just taking some of that same creamy sheepskin colored paint and I'm just kind of making those a little bit more a little bit, give them a little bit more interest. Now, this is the cutest little grapevine basket that I got at Hobby Lobby. I stuck some uh, burlap down in there to start. I did not use any floral foam because by the time I'm done with this, this is all stuck in there so nicely. It did not need it. Um, unless just you were worried for some reason, for some other reason I'm not aware of, you might want to use floral foam, but it all worked out great. I'm just using a variety of picks that I picked up. I think everything you're seeing here either came from Hobby Lobby or Walmart. And I loved, I brought in the freshness of those little white berries because these white sunflowers are sort of like my feature flower, I would say, in this little fall floral gathering. So now I have everything in the basket that I want flower-wise. Now we're gonna bring back in that bow, tie it up there. We're gonna bring in the tag, tie that up there as well. And lastly, will be to put on our little garland of acorn bells, which will be so cute. It looks so good together. Uh, I really love the colors. The bow is very subtle. It coordinates beautifully and adds some extra texture. I believe all the pieces in this little gathering really are warm and inviting. And like I said, this would be beautiful on a door or inside to bring that fall feel into your home. I hope that you enjoyed seeing this all come together and that you picked up a little something or two. I would love to know what that is. Thanks for being here and have a great day. Bye-bye.